Hey all, welcome to ProBillionaire. This is your own Raghav bringing you an exciting learning video today. Now, what are we going to learn today? Now, remember, if, if you follow me a while ago, maybe six, seven months or four, five months ago, I had released a video called Secrets of First 15 Minutes for Nifty and Bank Nifty. And I had uh, informed about something called as initial balance. Now, not sure how many people really paid attention to it. Remember, whatever I, I bring, whatever we bring on this channel, we use it for trading, right? Now, if you have seen my profit screenshots, where in last one year turnover, last June to list this June, I have overall my uh, profit, uh, including taxes, everything is comes up to eight lakhs. That is around 16 times, right? For a 50K capital. And I'm a project manager working full time where I don't get enough time to trade, right? Now, going by this, why I'm telling this is I want you to believe what I'm doing. Now, whatever we are doing, we are trading it. And trading is trading is an art. The, the most difficult aspect of trading is stop loss. A lot of people have thousands of strategies. If you keep hopping strategy after strategy after strategy, you won't be able to master anything. Now, in our own YouTube channel, whatever I have taught you or shared with you about pivots or Cambrilla pivots, the 15 minutes, the VWAP strategies, or first five minutes, uh, you know, five EMA strategy, everything does not happen every day. But there is one thing which happens every day. That is secrets of pivots, boss, four important price action decision-making candles. I would like to call them a decision-making. Every day this keeps happening. If you focus only on these candles, you'll be able to make money. So I have released several videos on the weekly analysis video. You need to watch it. I'm going to release another follow-up video today covering last two weeks of Nifty and Bank Nifty. Now, without wasting further ado, what do you mean by initial balance? Now, initial balance means something. Let's imagine. I'll take the example of Secret of Pivot Boss. This is a coffee table, all right? This is a coffee table. Now... I have a balance only this. Do you think this coffee table can stand? If somebody is sitting here, right? If somebody is sitting here, just imagine the moment he presses and holds this, table will tilt this side. Similarly, if somebody is sitting here, the person who presses and holds this, table will tilt this side, right? So this balance is not good because the balance is very, very small. So if you press, the balance will tilt this side. If you press, the balance will this, tilt this side. Let's call them as a buyer and seller. So every day in market, whatever stocks, whatever instruments, cryptos, uh, nifty, bank nifty, anything you trade, there is something called as a balance. Now, this balance, some people call it as 50%. There are different ways of looking at the balance. But to start with the day, let's say we are starting the day. On that particular day, what is important from intraday perspective point of view? We want to catch a direction and we want to make big money in, in one or two trades and close the day. That is trading. Trading is not about sitting entire day. So we need to watch this balance. Now, suppose if this balance is big like this, will the table fall, guys? The table will hold because this is the big balance. It is very difficult until this person, the seller or buyer stands up, put his both the hands down and this person is stronger than this person and presses hold. That's when the balance will break. Hope you're understanding the concept. Now, what I'm telling is when a day opens, there is something where both buyers and sellers will be fighting in a tug of war. Understand? Fighting. They are holding this tag and they are trying to pull it. Now, whoever pulls this, whichever side, that side price will move. We need only for a few minutes to a few hours, right, to make money. 
So this is called an initial bias. Hope you understand the concept. Now let's come back quickly, right? I want this. Now, you know, I'm a big fan of 200 day simple moving average, 20 day simple moving average and have five, five EMA. Five EMA is something which you all need to master, but let's keep it this way, watch it. What is the initial balance? I gave you a hint, 15 minutes, right? The first 15 minutes, wherever the first, this is five minutes time frame. So I'm keeping first three candles, whichever side the balance tilts. Friday was a very, very tough day. More or less price will go that side. If you understand the concepts of stop loss, so I have always advocating 50 points to 100 points stop loss for bank nifty. And if you keep that stop loss, Entire day stop loss will not get hit. Maybe your target will also not get hit. But that is the way to trade in option buying. Option buying has got only, guys, remember, option buying has 65% of the time it is sideways. 65, 67%. Some statisticians tell only 33% market will be trending so which means the days where you want to make 500 600 thousand points in bank nifty there is only 33 percent of the time the more you understand about the probability the better trader you become now let's without ado first three candles so this is a big candle now this is the balance the table balance broke price goes that side comes down test goes that side Keep watching. This is I'm taking from the last recent days. I'm not hand picking the chart. Sideway or trend, 15 minutes. All right. So we don't care. We want a profitable money at the beginning. Usually, market use momentum at the beginning. First three, 15 minutes, upside. I'm not worried about this. This is totally a different strategy. How you want to capture the trade? Now, this is somewhere. 15 minutes, which side it broke towards the end of the day. Watch it. You can become an expert on your own just by watching this. If the price is not going anywhere other than 15 minutes, it's a sideway. So better to wait. Big red candle, first 15 minutes. Which side it broke? Which side price went? So here, below 200 SMA, it is sell. So below 20, it is sell, I have told you. Now, about 20 is by about 200 days by have told you. Now, there are occasions, see here, about 20, about 200, market went up. About 20, market went up. Now, about 200, but 20 MA is very far away from 200, a simple moving average. So the way you need to think is that this might be a buying area. Yes, it is a counter uh, trading opportunity as well, as well as when price always goes in which fashion? In a zigzag fashion, right? Price moves in zigzag fashion. So this is the trend line. Yes, you will have a counter trading opportunity here, here, here. But you need to understand this is a buying. In an uptrend, people want to buy at less price and always want to increase their profits. Now, this is what you need to understand, all right? Now, considering this, can you trade only using this? 200, yes, definitely. If you're comfortable, the more simple your strategy, the better it will be. Now add a little bit of context to this, right? Like pivots, Cambrilla pivots, uh, supply and demand areas. If you want supply and demand areas, I have marked whatever, whatever it is. Now I just want to make it quick. So I'll add Cambrilla pivots, all right? Cambrilla all levels. Now here, for you to know the levels, okay, this is Cambrilla all levels. Now, where is the price here? Above R4. Now, above R4, about 20, 15 minutes broken. So, where do you want to buy? You want to buy somewhere here where you can, 20 day support, sorry, 20 period simple moving average. And then you have five period exponential moving average where you can capture this moment. And then when the price comes back to this, uh, what do you call demand area? Again, you can buy it. That is how you need to think. Now here, watch it. First candle above R3. I'm going to make it big for you so that you can see. This is R4, this is R3. First 15 minutes zooms, comes back. 20 day simple moving average, R3. It is a 
confluence of support you have a big candle what is this candle outside reversal candle if you understand outside reversal you will thank me how to spot the trades this candle high and low is engulfing this now do you have any doubts do you need to wait for 15 minutes to break that is price action that is up to you for you to decide now suppose if you entered here and then when market is coming no need to panic this is where the stop loss comes 50 to 100 points now if you re watch these levels the support is here here is one support for the intraday previous day low is another support right now this is how you need to think previous day low it comes yes goes up so suppose you you entered here assume you scalp some money suppose if you are a that kind of a trader where you're really afraid and you just want to enter and exit enter and exit this is your enter where will be your next center again above 15 period move uh, 15 minutes uh, break high or low break enter make money you know 5 ema is a momentum indicator right the way watch it here the pivots will give you most accurate 5 EMA. 5 EMA is a momentum. Above R3 is buying. You don't have any doubts here. R4 above is breakout. 15 minutes high is breaking here. Enter. Go slow. Make it one is to one, one is to two. Finish it. I'm not talking about this. I told you this is a different strategy. I'm talking about the opening initial balance. Which side the table is tilting. See, entire day market is stuck in a range. So no need to force. Maybe you enter one, one trade and once you identify the high of the 15 minutes is holding, just wait patiently. Maybe in the last <clears throat> one hour, you have an entry. See here? One uh, candle broke this candle taking support. Earlier, here it took support. It was breaking, breaking. This is a double top. So if you understand all the price action, somewhere here with this, even here, you could capture around 50 to 70 points even in the end of the day in bank nifty here s4 is a buying area above s4 about 20 sma first 15 minutes high yes 200 day simple moving average is above but watch the price action because market is not so straightforward it is always it's a probability do not get confused so you need to mix everything now above s4 is buying enter buying Above S3 is buying, yes, 200 SMA broken, you can anticipate a trend. That is what you got here. Keep it very, very simple, watch here. Now there are times when it fails, it's okay. See, this is first 15 minutes, right? Entire day. Broke, you enter, you wanted to R4 above is a breakout because I am telling that is how Cambrill pivots work. 200 SMA is broken, but market comes back. Now, suppose if you have entered till the end of the day, it would not have hit to your 50 to 70 point stop loss because above R3, 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 it is holding it. What happens here is most of the novice traders, the beginners traders who want to quickly enter and exit, they don't have any method to madness. They will think, okay, every, every market is full of opportunities, any second, any minute. So it, it is very dynamic. So people keep entering and exiting on this day because of the slow movement. They think they can make money and keep losing money. Friday, I, I told you, Nifty, I entered one lot, waited for two hours, 20 point stop loss. Done. Enough. No need to force yourself. And when the stop loss hit, I told I pushed six lots, recovered that uh, thousand rupees loss. I told you how the stop loss should be placed however that day is sixth consecutive friday where market is going sideways use your experience use understand what people are telling anyway too much of talkings this is 15 minutes entire day watch entire day one trade if you have kept 50 to 100 point stop loss it will not hit but suppose if you just read this candle yeah it's outside reversal candle agreed but let me exit without sticking to the stop loss. What happens? Market will again break here. You will enter again. You'll have this much of money. You will think it will go and test previous day low, but market comes back. You again exit, booking around 10 points, 15 points, whatever loss. Again, another candle goes, oh, this is an outside reversal at the top. Weak. 
the outside reversal on buying should happen at the bottom selling should happen at the top again enter lose so if you keep on entering with small stop loss right you will be losing this is option trading big boys trading it's not for kids understand that how you can understand now this is first 15 minutes initial balance now the price is not moving too far away the moment it comes and pulls back next time when it comes i'll be thinking this as a double top double bottom this is one bottom this is one bottom 65 percent of the times as per albrook's double bottoms will not break in the first attempt it will hold so i will be looking at double bottom and double top to buy or to counter trade that is how you need to read the market but anyway, if you're watching 15 minutes, you enter here. Once you see double bottom taking support, stick to your stop loss, see your stop loss. Did it hit your stop loss? Suppose if you have entered here, maybe 50 points, 100 points in bank nifty, it might have hit your stop loss, only one loss. When the candle next breaks down again, you know this is a support. It is holding. Now how, you, how the 15 minutes initial balance can save you? instead of multiple trades see here this is the 15 minutes enter wait for the entire day or wait for your target how you need to wait for the target there's no quick money sometimes it happens but until you learn and master price action you need to stick to it see here till the end of the day you have money pivot broke this pivot is acting as resistance you know even in the first candle or second candle you can enter this is another uh, day where 15 minutes is very big jumbo candle no trade i i don't even trade on these days guys see i want bank nifty to give me 100 200 points now this is a very big candle now if you know price action the reversal pin bar near previous day low about 20 sma and above r3 is buying with this high break i will enter this candle keeping stop loss of five minutes below 20 sma opening make the money so even if you want to enter after 15 minutes, be my guest, enter. Market will just bounce. But this is how you have to trade. 15 minutes, price action. Now here, somewhere, it fails. Now this is S4, below S4 is a breakout. This is previous to low. Now from pivot's point of view, it is giving you an alert. This can act as a support. Wait for a few minutes, one bottom, double bottom, exit just exit at cost double bottom let me enter below this same thing not too far away from 15 minutes right so let's wait but if you see price has not moved too much away from 15 minutes support 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 it will give you a crucial information about the market structure how it works watch here 15 minutes above r3 about 20 about 200 15 minutes fails breaks enter whoop make this money do not bother about this make this money close your trade how to catch the trend in bank nifty okay you will be this is a very big candle now if i am trading this is selling, this is selling, this is the supply and demand area. When the candle starts going down, I would enter in the first minute. In the same candle, my stop loss will be the opening here, the high, same candle. I want to get the momentum going. If it fails, it fails. I'm ready for the loss. I want the very small loss rather than big loss. If it comes, I exit. That's it. I will not wait for five minutes closing basis. But anyway, 15 minutes below. Capture. Capture 30, 40 points, 50 points. Make your merry. Finish it. And entire day, see market, even if it pulls back, you need to look only towards the downside when the 15 minutes is broken. Now, this is exactly what I'm telling, right? The first 15 minutes broken upside. Look only to buy upside. Even in the range bound, look only to buy at the breakout area. See how many times you see the trend breaking. Four, five times, right? Where you had maximum trend. 15 minutes break. Do not be afraid. Go down. Make money. Make money. Use the Cambrilla pivots, full standard pivots, or the 20 SMA, 5 EMA, 200 SMA. Make, make it 
work for you. Make it work for you. Be very smart. You can use trend lines as well. Beautiful trend line. Trend lines works like a charm, right? So that, I mean, the basically, if you want to use anything and everything, stop loss is the key. If you don't keep the stop loss, you will watch my channel. You will watch some other channel. You keep on going channels after channel looking for some uh, uh, magic portion. Uh, magic portions will never work. There are thousands of people nowadays becoming a trend because people have lost their content. So they are making uh, trading indicator uh, videos. So you go, you test them one day, second day fails, jump out of it. A trading is a probability of million permutations and combinations, more than that. Now, if you want to stick to proper trading, you need to master it. You want to stick to this, master this. Do you want to stick to 20 SMA? Master this. Do you want to trade only candela pivot? Master it. Give it some 100 trades. 100 trades is a very good sample. But if you're trading everyday new new strategy, 96% of the chances a person who trades or who is new to trading will quit trading within one year. 96%. That is the statistics. Please do love, share, subscribe, and hope this initial balance opens a new key for Nifty and Bank Nifty trading. And please do join our live session tonight where we can engage each other, we can know each other better. Thank you all, guys. Have a great Sunday.